Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a field located in western Kentucky where a 470 engine horsepower John Deere 9470R articulated four-wheel drive tractor is operating a 90-foot wide John Deere DB90 corn planter. In this video, we're going to spend some time out in the field with this big planting team as well as riding in the tractor's cab to see the farmer's perspective of running this large equipment. We'll also spend some time out in the field so that you can see all the seedbed preparation that goes into planting corn from primary tillage to fertilizer application, soil preparation, and rock picking. So let's head out to the field now so that you can see and hear all this large farm machinery at work. Corn planting typically takes place in western Kentucky from mid-March into early April. Before any corn seeds go in the ground, there's a lot of field work that takes place to prepare the seed bed for the corn planter. In January, the farm uses their 620 engine horsepower John Deere 9620R articulated four-wheel drive tractor and 23-foot wide Great Plains turbo chisel for a primary tillage pass. To break up the compaction from the work done in the field the year before, this field was planted in winter wheat, harvested in June, with a second crop of soybeans planted right behind the combines. Those soybeans were harvested in October. The chisel plow is breaking up that hard-packed soil from all the equipment's passes the previous year, as well as turning under the residue to begin the corn planting process. The 9620R tractor uses auto guidance to run it across the field on perfect 23-foot passes. It's equipped with triple tires, 12 tires all the way around. This helps improve the traction in the field, reduces compaction, and gives a much smoother ride than using a large metric dual tire where you might have a lot more power hop with a heavy tillage implement like the turbo chisel. In mid-February, the farm will begin applying fertilizer to the field, which will help the corn crop grow throughout the year and reach its best potential yield when it's harvested in August. To apply the fertilizer, the farm relies on their 620 engine horsepower John Deere 9620R articulated four-wheel drive tractor to operate a 60-foot wide blue jet anhydrous ammonia applicator. Anhydrous ammonia is a nitrogen fertilizer source that is injected into the soil. The anhydrous is carried in the white tanks on the wagon towed behind the blue jet. Each wagon will carry around 40 acres of fertilizer before it has to be switched out for a new tank. Following the primary tillage pass and the anhydrous ammonia nitrogen fertilizer application, the farm again relies on the 9620R tractor to operate a 55-foot wide John Deere 2210 
field cultivator. This implement uses sweeps that knock down the ridges left by the culture chisel and anhydrous ammonia application bar. It breaks up large clods of earth to smooth and firm up the seed bed ahead of the corn planter. This pass also helps warm up the soil by drawing in additional sunlight, which will produce an ideal planting condition for the corn. Before any corn seeds start going in the ground, the farm uses their 125 engine horsepower John Deere 6125R tractor to operate a Schulte 320 Jumbo rock picker. This implement picks up stones from the field that could damage the corn planter or the combine when it's harvesting the crop. Now that the seedbed preparation is complete, it's time to start planting corn. The farm uses a seed tender pulled by a pickup truck to deliver 100 bushels of corn seed to the 90 foot wide corn planter. It fills up the central commodity tanks, which will then use a vacuum air system to deliver the corn seed from the tanks to each of the 36 rows on this planter.
As the corn seed is delivered to the central fill commodity tank, the farmer also sprinkles on graphite, which will help the seed slide down through the plastic tank into the vacuum system. The farm relies on their 470 engine horsepower John Deere 9470R articulated tractor to operate the 90 foot wide John Deere DB90 corn planter. This tractor is equipped with row crop duels which are spaced out to run between the 30 inch rows of corn so that the corn seeds are not compacted by the tire. The big 36 row planter will cover around 200 acres of planting before it needs to be refilled again. The tractor and planter are working out in a 700 acre field and this big planter is capable of covering over 600 acres per day. tractor power is up in the cab of a 470 horsepower John Deere 9470R and it is corn planting season. We're coming across the field and this tractor is equipped with row crop duels and it is pulling a John Deere DB90 36 row corn planter. This planter can get a lot of acres covered in a day. You can see here it's equipped with tracks. This helps reduce compaction when you have those two big commodity boxes full of corn seed in the center of the planter, when it has wheels, it can really kind of reduce the yield of the corn that comes up right underneath the tires. So these tracks have been a big improvement for the farm and uh, does a great job in uh, improving the yield behind the rows where the boxes are. This tractor is using John Deere's Green Star 3000 series uh, GPS. And we can see here that the tractor, even though it's working 90 feet wide with that big planter, is a hands-free operation. It's driven by a satellite across the field in a perfect 90-foot pattern. We can see here on the monitor, it has a map and it's painting its way across the field. And we can see the uh, the yellow pattern going down, that's where the seed is, and the light gray is the soil that hasn't been planted yet. And you can see the different colors that uh, would mean that it has a variable rate. It's putting down a different pattern uh, depending on the soil conditions of the field to maximize the yields.
I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing these big John Deere tractors working on corn planting. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what type of tractors and implements you use on your farm to plant your crops in the spring. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional spring planting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. 